to the ones who are troubled by what's happening in our country, to the ones who see the growing divide between the incredibly rich and those who work hard and still struggle, between the ones who hate everyone not like them and those of us who value diversity, equality, and the unity that comes from respecting the humanity of all people. To you and me, stay focused. Focus on your personal dreams. Whether you want to graduate from college or join the military or find a job that allows you to take care of your family or become the first woman president of our country, focus. It is hard when we don't know if our sons and daughters will make it home at the end of the day. None of us want our loved ones to become the next hashtag. We see story after story of the most heinous crimes. A man getting caught in the act of rape. Or a video of one person murdering another. Yet we know that justice is not served in all cases entering the judicial system. Still, we must focus, even when everything in us wants to scream from the rooftops to the street corners, from the pulpits to the classrooms, scream because we can't take it anymore. Focus. We need the drive of the ones who came before us. Harriet Tubman, Reverend Henry Highland Garnett, Daisy Bates, Shirley Chisholm. They stared in the face of misogyny and white supremacy while being unwavering in their missions. Anger and frustration did not sway them. Focus. Let's look to Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and all who walked with him, who sat with him, who were arrested and jailed with him. Set the dogs loose. Turn on the water hoses. Place liberty behind the barricade of poverty. Still, it will not stop good people from doing what is right. At the moment, it seems like the current of the river progress has slowed to a trickle. There are those who want to regress into bigotry as they die on xenophobia and self-aggrandizement. We must focus. While sitting in a Birmingham jail, Dr. King wrote of the bottomless vitality of our ancestors. He said, if the inexpressible cruelties of slavery could not stop us, the opposition we now face will surely fail. That means we must focus on helping America live up to what she is on paper. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness is due everyone. Focus on our faith. I believe that I can do all things through Christ, that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. You, focus on your faith too. And good people, we must focus on moving forward, no matter what the next few years bring.